let's take a look at another workflow that helps with an ERP process. This is a workflow I've built that enables a business process around customer renewal. Unlike the previous workflow, instead of being initiated by user action, it is initiated in the background based on a saved search. The search finds all customers whose renewal date is in 60 days. So in the background, NetSuite is constantly identifying customers and applying this workflow to them. This workflow has custom fields. Custom fields on workflows allow you to save data across actions and states. In this case, we can save a link to the task that is created so we can use it later in the workflow. So when this workflow is entered, a couple things are done. The first creates an initial task for the sales rep to contact the customer. We can look at the details of this action and see that we set the company, title, assigned, and due date of the task. The task will be associated with this company. We store the created task in a custom field on the workflow, which we then use in the next action to subscribe to that task. What this means is that the workflow will be notified when that record changes. The reason this is important is that we can then transition to a new state when that task is completed, as you can see here. When we enter that new state, an opportunity for this renewal is automatically created. We also send an email to the sales rep, letting them know that they have a renewal customer to contact. Let's see this workflow in action. I'll pull up a customer that has been identified as needing renewal. All records now have a workflow tab where you can see what workflows they are currently participating in and a history of what has happened in the past. As you can see, this record has entered the workflow because its renewal date is within 60 days. And a renewal contact task associated with this record has been automatically created and assigned to the sales rep. Let's go ahead and complete this task. If we reload the record, we'll notice that it has now entered the subsequent state of the workflow and an opportunity has been created for this renewal. So SuiteFlow can operate in the background, identifying records that need attention, allowing you to better manage critical business processes, again, without writing a line of code. Finally, let's look at an even more sophisticated approval workflow that shows some more advanced logic, looping, and branching, and see some of the other features of SuiteFlow for managing processes. This workflow is part of what I might term a mini-application, like a partner may build, or that could be part of an ISV solution. In this case, it is a travel request approval process that we're automating, and we've developed a custom record for travel request. The record specifies information about the request as well as an estimated budget. Managers have approval limits for travel and we need to orchestrate the approval process so that the right resources in the company approve the travel request. This is actually done by two workflows, one which tracks supervisor approval and one which tracks approval by the accounting department. This shows how workflows can interoperate either in series or in parallel. We'll focus on the main travel approval workflow. As you can see, it has the most complex diagram. Note there is even a loop here. This is the essence of the approval routing in that at each level, the workflow determines whether the current approver has a sufficient limit and if not, it routes to the next level supervisor. Also, take note of some of the actions that are performed in the various states. In the pending approval state, we add approve and reject buttons for the approver only. We lock the record for the submitter. And in the pending accounting approval state, we initiate the associated accounting approval workflow and then wait for it to complete in order to transition to the final approved state. Now let's see the travel request process in action. First, I've logged in as a salesperson who's going to make the travel request and entered the information for the request. 
Once I save the request, I can go to the Workflow tab and see that it awaits approval by the Reps Manager. Notice the record is locked. The lock record action assured that the submitter can make no edits once the record has been routed. Let's go ahead and log in as the manager. Just a note, this manager has been assigned an approval limit of $1,000 below the estimated budget of this request. Note that there's a custom reminder created from a saved search for travel requests to approve. Click on it and approve the request by clicking on the button. Now here is where the logic and looping of SuiteFlow comes into play. We've returned to the pending approval state, but the final approver is Mark Rogan's manager, A. Wolf. Finally, I will log in as A. Wolf and show a couple additional features of approval workflows. Notice A. Wolf has a list of requests to approve instead of a reminder. Same search, just exposed differently. He can approve individually or using a save mass update called Approve Travel Requests, approve multiple at a time. Once Clark Couser is approved, we can go to the Workflow tab and see that it is now awaiting accounting approval.